This is Backroad Drives. Now today we're driving through the beautiful Laurentians on Route 370. Now this drive starts about 45 minutes north of Montreal on exit 69 from Auto Route 15. And you're going through Saint Adèle to Saint Marguerite du Lac Masson through Lesterel and you end up in Chersey. Now it's about a 25 mile drive on an old and twisty two lane blacktop with some 90 degree bends and 30 degree humps. At speed it's a real challenge to say the least. And today I'm going to make the review, the one rear ownership review of my 2016 Dodge Challenger RT Super Trackback 6 speed magnet. Now, where do we start with this Challenger? I mean, I've owned this uh, more than a year now. I have about 26,000 miles on it. And to start, I would say I'm really happy with this car. I mean, you need to understand where I come from. I had a 2010 Camaro SS LS3 six-speed. And uh, this is the replacement car. Since my family grew and I outgrown the Camaro, I needed a six, uh, a five-seater car, and, and basically, you know, the only two-door coupe in America that offer five-passenger seating and uh, V8 with a manual gearbox is this car. I mean, you can get it in different trims. But for a daily driver, this 5.7 liter Hemi 345 with 375 HP and 410 foot pound of torque is plenty. And you always get the look. On the 2016 RT, the 5.7 Hemi had a really constrained exhaust and they were pretty quiet. Uh, they came with uh, bottled uh, mufflers with uh, resonators and uh, since the 2017 uh, they downgraded the uh, scat pack exhaust, uh, active exhaust into the 5.7 Hemi and that made a big difference. So on this model I had to upgrade it to a full master uh, Force 2 exhaust which came with uh, Super 44s and uh, uh, FM resonator. So uh, the sound you're listening is, is directly uh, out from uh, the bumper of the rear bumper of my car coming out of those tubes, so it makes a big difference. Just a lot more enjoyment now, just driving through the gears. Uh, a must on a 2016. So in this uh, 2016 edition, um, the super track pack, what they did is they basically upgrade some of the suspension, shocks, uh, sway bars, some of the brake components, and uh, some of the computer for the stability assist. And uh, you know, and they made it. They made it a great daily car. I, mean, I drove this car in every condition possible, and you know, I'm always confident. Even though these are whiny, small back roads, and this is a big car, I always feel comfortable and enjoying the drive. And uh, it's a stiffer drive with the Super Track Pack. It's a little bit more bouncy. The lateral movement from jaws uh, that you can get from uh, you know, a uh, road bump or something is not really well controlled. But it doesn't detract from the enjoyment of driving this car and you know at speeds like you can see here it's still it's still capable and once you're in 
in those back rows, you either get you know 400 HP or 700 HP. It's it's uh, the, the limitation is, is the the road, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, this is where you can actually enjoy at the fullest this car. And uh, even though you know it's it's primarily not meant for this, it really does a great job. Of it. I love this and having the manual gearbox allows you to always stay in the power band and you know just enjoy this 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 engine now talking about the engine the hemi this 5.7 hemi out of the box i always thought it felt really constrained it felt like you know see it, it's kind of locked the rev limiter is set at 50 5800 rpms on this car and uh, you know this really is just about security and longevity and you know this being a daily driven car with uh, this massive engine you know we they're built to, they're built tough they're built to last and uh, but when you're 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 pushing it to the limit you know there's more to this engine you can feel there's more to this engine and uh, after you know, unlocking the limiter so that was the first thing I did. I'm really happy I did. It made me enjoy this car a lot more.
tight turns like this, I really had to strap the seat belt really tight and lock it in place so I didn't move that much. That's what you do if you want to get a bit more performance out of it to make sure you're secured in your seating position and lock the, the belt. And uh, this way there's a little bit less movement. In terms of braking, well, you know, that's a little bit uh, on a disappointment. Well, you know. It's just these are the, the single uh, single piston calipers and uh, the disc are 13.8 and 12.8 in the back. And they have a little bit, uh, they have track pads on these ones. There's no complaint for street. They're doing a great job on the street. Some final words. I believe the Dodge Challenger RT57 Hemi is probably the best performance per dollar value out there on the market right now. Looking for a great car? There you have it.